ومن أحسن قولا مما دعا إلى الله. This is chapter 36, verse 9. Jehovah Chin was eight years old. Now he can't answer. He, he can't answer. One question. One question, answer it. One question, answer it. Just one question. Answer one question. One question, he can't answer. One question, he can't answer. One question, he can't answer. It is over. One question, he can't answer. One question, question, answer. Question, answer. Question, answer. question right now. Let, let's see it. Let, your trick you're destroyed. Finished. Your deception, you're hypocrisy finished. exposed. You're finished. you're finished like Muhammad you're Hijab true. said. Look, destroyed. look, look right here. Here, right here, one question. Can you answer it? Jehovah Chain's age difference? Huh? Jehovah Chain here was eight years old, and the other verse he was 18. Which one is it? Show us one. Show the Bible is irrelevant? The clear numeric contradiction in the Bible is irrelevant. He can't answer. Show us who the Messiah is. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Show us who the Messiah is. You have asked how did Judas die? Sure. I'm asking about Jehovah Chain right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. You don't know. You don't come. You don't come. Come. He's, he's using come. 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 Answer. He's using Go ahead. As a he won't answer the question. Maybe no Christian can answer. Can any Christian answer here? Relax. Not a single one of you. What he wants to do? You can't answer one question on the Bible. I've explained. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, what's out of, out of, done? You can tell me what's right. Out of the four Gospels, only one mentions how Judas died. And that's Matthew. Which, which one died. was? Matthew is the only Gospel that mentions how he died. The other three okay. don't. How, how does it not? When, when he says he fell, that's Acts. he fell, right? Acts. In Acts. He yeah. didn't say how he fell, so he fell. But in Matthew, but hanging, no, no, wait, 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 you see, you see, he can't running. answer me. He just wants to talk to you. One, one answer he can't give me. He's a coward. One Come question. One question. This me. is your friend coming Come in. Who should I talk to between Christians? Yeah, no, we go ahead. Okay, okay, go ahead. Yeah, that's I don't, I don't, four gospels. Yes, only Matthew. Yes, couldn't answer wait, wait, one question. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. Yes, only Matthew. Just one question. How he died. Okay. Now, let, let, let's take a look at it together. Yeah, all four of them say. All four okay. gospels say that he betrayed Jesus. Okay. And that Jesus knew he was going to betray because that's relevant. Okay, I got you. How let, let, Judas let me, died is not relevant. Let's explain it. Now, this man purchased a field with the wages of inequity. So what did he do with the money? He purchased the field. Okay. And falling headlong, it explains how he dies. Falling headlong, he burst open in the middle. How did he okay. fall? How high off the ground was again, he? Again, it doesn't mention how high off the ground, but what it does mention is how he died. Falling, and it even explains how headlong, meaning not straight down. That means he went headlong. How did he fall? Did Excellent. He jump? So, so did rope listen, break? listen. Did a rope break? Listen, listen. It doesn't mention rope breaking, but it mentions he fell. Let me, let me, let me, let me explain it. It is relevant. Let me explain it. I, I got you, bro. When you have a rope that breaks, you fall straight down. Right? Gravity. When your movement, look up the word headlong. When you're in movement and you fall, your head goes forward. That's called headlong, okay? So it even mentioned that it was not hanging, it, there's no mention of a hanging, of falling that's headlong, meaning in movement, not something that comes straight down. And then he says he burst open in the middle and his entrails gushed out. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense, he's right? Hanging, now, it does not mention hanging. It does not mention he went hanging. It doesn't say it doesn't how mention. He fell. It does. It does. It says headlong. It does that's mention how. how. He fell. That is how he what fell. Is head. It what, doesn't. It, look. Look. That's not the fall. point. When you say yeah, headlong, headlong, right. it shows movement. You, gravity what, means what, you come straight down if you fall straight. When you're in movement. Okay. So now here. He says, then he threw down the pieces of silver in the temple. What did he do? That's because he, he thought it was blood money. Huh? He threw it down. He had remorse. He felt bad about it. Then he threw the money. So again, here, he didn't buy land. That's in Matthew, right? Yeah, exactly. Matthew, right? Yeah, yeah. Matthew. It says it right there. He hung himself. Okay, so then, what did, no, 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 hold on. Then he threw the pieces of silver in the temple and yeah. departed. He didn't buy land. In the other verse, he purchased land with it. So which one is it? I don't really care, really. Just see, you don't care now. Now you see a clear contradiction, no, you don't care. I, Which one is it? Did, did he buy land with the money or did he throw it in the temple? I don't care. You're caught. That's why you don't care. No, it's not relevant. Look, it's a contradiction. You know it's no, a clear... Co what's relevant? Look, look, if I tell no, you... No, 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 hold on. If you took money and I say you buy a car... Can I finish? Okay, you finish. Go ahead. Go ahead. Friendly. Oh, friendly. Take a deep breath. Shake hands. How's that? Relax. I'm relaxed. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. I got you. Are you slow? I'm slow. Are you cool? I'm cool. 
I like you. What's your name? Jerry. Jerry, good to meet you. Go ahead, bro. Anyway, what is relevant is he betrayed. That is very relevant. And that Jesus knew he was going to be betrayed. And that's why, and you don't have to look it up now, just at your leisure. I got you. Every gospel says that he betrayed Jesus. But only Matthew says how he died, says he hung himself. Because that is not relevant. So you got to be able to find out, distinguish what's relevant and what's not. The fact that he betrayed Jesus and that Jesus I knew he was going to get betrayed is relevant, and that's why it's mentioned in all four Gospels. The, how Judas died is not relevant. And that's not what Judas is known for. Judas is known for betraying Jesus. That's what he's known for. Yeah, you don't really. You know, nobody I heard really you. cares how he died. I personally don't care how he died. Okay. I don't care if you bought a food or not. Got it. Because that's not the main point. Are so, you done? Oh no, I'm not done. Okay. And the Bible admits that approximately 40 authors over a period of 1,500 years so, wrote various books. Okay, I just want to understand that. So that means it's not the word of God directly. That's right. It's a, it's a people's writings. It never mentioned so they could have contradictions. You know, you know the Bibles I have? It mm -hmm. says right in front. Mm -hmm. It is made I do it or, uh, direct. Thank you. It says Thank you. 40, okay. Oh, Everybody heard oh, wait, wait, that? Bible is not the word of God. I'm Appreciate it. Go I just want to understand. Okay. Approximately, approximately 40 authors over a period of 1,500 years wrote okay. various books. They were and those authors are going to contradict each other? Just one more time. Can you apologize? Look, bro, look, 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 look. I'm you, talking to somebody else. Look, you apologize. I did not quote Islam QA, and you're lying what again. And again, here, here. You cannot answer a single Wait, question. One single can you question. For the Look, footnote? I only explained the footnote no, you, and I explained what happened. I have nothing to apologize for. Well, you use it as what proof. I explained. You, use it as is, see, you see this? Now he's cutting oh, up our conversation. You could have talked to him. Look, look, look. look, look. Cool. I'm talking to you, but he interrupted, I, I right? I this guy's a cool guy. Myself. Cool guy. Like yeah. This cool guy cannot answer did, one question about the Bible. One single question. One single question. Can you apologize? If you answer one question, I'll answer you. Can you apologize? Can you answer? One question? Can you, can, you question? No. can you answer one Look, question? Can you answer one question? We have can you answer one we have question? That watch we have viewers that want to see you answer they, one they, question. They watch you, you cannot answer a single a lot of question. Listen to you. Uh, you cannot answer so a you, single can you question. Admit that you were wrong? Look, what I was wrong, what I was right, what I did, I made a video, I explained it, no, I'm no, done. Can you at least now, say it? now, say it now, here. you are only doing no, this can you say for you views because you cannot answer one question of your Bible. I'm giving you a chance to answer just one question. One question. I'm giving Look, you a like I'm done with you, yourself. Avery, bro. You're done. I'm you're no, done. No, you're you are you you were no, proven wrong. What you said, what you said people. about us needing the Bible you're has tricked. been proven wrong. The Quran, the Quran, the Quran explained al Masih. The Hadith. You're blocking can, our camera. Sorry, Watch I'm out, sorry. right? Now, 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 now. Your you your point has been proven wrong. Sorry. We've shown it shows okay. Anbiya, which is Jama'a. You cannot answer a single question about your book, so walk away. Tell him come back. Tell him come. Okay, I will come and ask one question about the Bible. Bible. How about the Bible yeah. from literature. Yes. Promise. I got you. Go ahead. Continue on mine. So can I? Are you done? Or no, do you I'm not really go ahead. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll, so I'll anyway, let you. Anyway, I was going back to approximately 40 authors over a period of 1,500 years. Each of them has their own experiences, their own occupations, whatever. But they were inspired by the Word of God, and they have a consistent message. And that message is God has unconditional love for people just like you do for your son i know you got a son I, I do I got, I got two sons and two daughters you got unconditional love for them Even i love when them, they yeah. piss you off right yep and you discipline them you still have unconditional love for them. but i hold them accountable for their deeds okay you call i them. wouldn't kill them for you well you could call them discipline but you guide but them you you uh, comfort them i'm gonna let you finish out that's of what politeness god, that's what god does to us gotcha we're his children he's great you know there's no way we can hey. There's no way we can fully comprehend God because He created us. And He created can never fully comprehend the Creator. So He can do anything He wants when He wants to do it. You don't see me in a conversation, guy? So. Tika, sawal lauga, jawab dena, darna mat. Tika, abhi us bande ne kya hai? Anyway, you got you were. Sorry, these kids, right. your own Christian brother, and keep interrupting. You, you heard sorry. what I said, though, right? I did. About God and about unconditional love, love and. Okay, and He can do you. anything He wants because He's God. Gotcha. So, so if he wants to come down in earth in human form with Jesus Christ, okay. he let me, can do it because he's God. Okay. Let, me, God. let me ask you a question. Sure. So I, I want to get your input. But yeah. like I was polite, and I see you as a very good polite person. I'm expecting you to be polite. Well, I have to admit, back in December, we didn't have such a 
great conversation. Oh, let's try to have a better one. <laughs> Are you the one that told me to shut up? You remember that? Yeah, I do remember that, but I didn't uh, recognize your mask. Talk, a lot of people have talked to you. How can you're you remember that? You're that guy. You're that guy. I have a good memory. Well, I just feel like getting interrupted. I agree. It so so that's why I let you finish now, and you're not going to drop me, right? No. Thank you. So you said that God loves us and he can do anything and, and he can come down. I, I heard all of what you said. I appreciate your sentiment, right? Oh, oh you're chilly? I'm, I'm listening. Uh, you want yeah, my I, jacket? or? I worked out and I'm sweating uh, and the sweat. I you. got you. I'm going to listen to okay. you, but if I should, so ignore me. When God, according to you, came to, the earth, came to earth, and I'll explain the contradictions in a minute, uh -huh. did he know everything? Well, we were his target audience. Okay. So he came down to earth and he assumed human formed and all the characteristics, all the weaknesses, all the doubts. It even looked like he was talking to himself. Remember on the cross he said, yeah. Father forgive them for they know not what they do. I thought he was talking to the Father there. Yeah, when he okay. was being crucified he said, gotcha. Father forgive them for they do not know what they do. Now it looks like he's talking to himself, right? Mm -hmm. But he's not as his target audience, the people who witnessed the uh, crucifixion. Those are his target audience. Gotcha. Just like you try to show your son something. I'm not saying you're God, but you're trying to show I'm your not. son something. I get an example. Teach. That's what he's trying to do to us. He did it in human form. And so, we, we both agree that God can do anything he oh, wants. So when, when he came to earth, did he still know everything or no? Well, yeah, he's God. But to us... I'm sorry, he did or he didn't? Yeah, he's God. But I know what you're going to... I have a feeling I know what you're going to say. Okay. You're going to say... There's a point in there where it says, like, he doesn't know. Yeah, when a God's, few points, yeah. When God's like the hour. Something. When yeah. is the hour? He said, nobody knows, right? You know the verse? Yeah. Well, okay. I don't, I can't, I can't quote it from it. I got you. I know what you're saying because I've heard it before. Okay. But what he's saying there, what I get from that means, his target audience, he's let, telling him. Let me read it for you. He's telling him, you're not going to know when it happens mm -hmm. until it happens. Okay. He's not going to so, tell it ahead of time. So, so in Mark 13, 32, but of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Yeah. So that means about the hour, the Son didn't know. Well, that was us being his target audience. He was talking to us, right? Well, not you and I, we weren't there, but the people who were there at the uh -huh. time, right? Gotcha. He was talking to them. Okay, but he's saying, nor the Son, so the Son doesn't know. Well, that's what he's saying. Is he lying? No. Okay, he's telling the truth. I believe he's honest, yeah. right? You gotta remember. So that means he he didn't know. Well, I, I know you guys. The idea of the uh, triune. I'm, I'm not talking about the triune. I'm, I'm saying here. Well, that's the son but here the it says the son doesn't know. I mean, if the father knows and son doesn't know, then that can't be the same, right? It seems that way. It does seem that way in the verse. Yeah. And I can understand your confusion on it. I appreciate that you can. But because. Um, when you first look at that, it does seem that way. It's just like when I was saying on the guys on the cross, and he's saying, Father, forgive them, for they know, not, they know what they're doing. Okay. It looks like he's talking to himself. It doesn't make so sense. What's your belief that did Jesus know or did he not know? But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Yeah, the Father, the, 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 Father, the God. He's God. He's going to reveal it when he's ready to reveal it. Okay, so Jesus didn't know. Well, he was telling us the same thing, but he was saying it like that. Nor the Son, meaning Jesus does not know. Only the Father knows. That's what he's saying. Is he's that saying a lie God, or is that true? No, he's saying that God will reveal it when he's ready to reveal it. No, that's not what he's saying. He's saying, but of that day and hour, no one knows. He's not saying God will reveal it. It says no one knows, not even the angels in heaven. Okay, not even the Son. Not even the Son. He does not know. Yeah. No one knows. Not the angels. That means Jesus not the Son. not either. So, n n not that he's going to reveal it, that he doesn't know, but only the Father. So only the Father knows. Yeah, and Jesus know. doesn't know, angels don't know, nobody knows except the Father. And he even made it clear, he said, nor the Son, like very explicitly, right? Oh, yeah, I said that. Uh, so I think me and you can agree then that Jesus didn't know. No, he's, well, he's not going to reveal it to us. That's how I take it. Not talking about reveal. It, there's no word reveal in here. It just says... I mean, I can even show you the commentary, uh, that's right? That's how I take it. What do you mean you take it? The scripture is one way. You can't just take it any way you like, right? Well, you know, when it you really have evidence for that? Well, you know, when it really comes down to the nitty-gritty, okay. everybody's got their own interpretation of how they see things. Even you do. No, no. I'm quoting directly from scripture. I know you are. Okay. So, so let me ask you about this one. In that's Mark, I take that. Okay. In Mark 11, end of 12, beginning of 13, mm -hmm. Jesus was hungry. Like he was hungry, right? No, yeah, like a human would be. Like a human would be, yeah, because yeah. he was fully human, right? He was assuming all the characteristics. I got you, bro. 
and seeing from afar a fig tree having leaves, so he saw he was hungry, and he saw a fig tree with leaves, yeah. he went to see if perhaps it would have something on it to eat, right? Oh, I think I remember this one. Okay. Was this the one when it, it didn't and he said, uh, yeah, he yeah. cursed the fig When he tree. came to it, he found nothing but leaves, for it was not seasoned for figs. So how did God not know the tree has figs or not? You know that, personally, between you and I, I yeah. don't even know, know, know why they had that in there. That's another thing. I about, like you. What was your name again? Well, Jay. J J A Y. That's J. something to me that's irrelevant. So you think they should have taken it out of the Bible? I think there's things in the Bible that are irrelevant, mm. and there's things. So that God, are, not wait, knowing. Wait, 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 I'm wait, sorry. Wait. Go ahead. There's things that are are relevant mm. that, that are conveyed consistently throughout the Bible, Old and gotcha. New Testament. And you know what? That I get. I get me my opinion. Everything coming out of my mouth is my opinion. Of course. Sure. I agree. From the Bible, and it makes sense to me that God has unconditional love for us. Mm. Going and back to he, that. He, he tries. Well, yeah. And he tries to establish a relationship with us and all throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament and Jesus. Mm. It's him trying to establish a relationship with us okay. because he has unconditional love for us. Got it. Just like you would with your sons and daughters. I got you. I appreciate that sentiment. That's what I get out of the whole back, Bible, everything. I got you. That's but the, the main message. issue here is this is not insignificant. Because Jesus being God or not being God, knowing everything or not knowing everything is a pretty important creedal issue. We as Muslims and Christians, we agree there's God. Okay, let me explain. <laughs> to you, it doesn't really, uh, so, so you, it doesn't really matter if he was God or not? Oh, I believe he is God. So if he's God, he knows everything, I right? No, he knows everything. He can do anything he wants. Okay, but then, but then yeah, here in these verses when he teach, doesn't know. If he wants to teach his targeted audience, gotcha. us. So when he says no one knows, is that a lot? Much, who can never know as much as he does, no know why he does everything he does. There's gotcha. things going on out, out there in space like right now that we're never going to know about. Mm -hmm. Just, you know, you, you've met some of these guys. They, they try to replace God with man. Stuff for science. I, I'm, science I'm, I'm just not, compliments I think God. me and you are both agreement that, that there is a God, right? Well, I don't know if you've ever talked to the atheists gone to their booth. No. I did once for entertainment. And they, everything's got to be defined in a box. Gotcha. If God don't work that way. If God goes way beyond that box. Gotcha. So my, my question so again. Keep that in perspective. I got you. So are you done? I don't want to interrupt you. Well, I just want to let you know that I, I when got. We're looking at that. When we're looking at certain scriptures like that one. You just think it should be thrown out. And the fig tree, to me, to me. To you, your opinion. That's, should delete it. Uh, insignificant. Right. It's not but, the main message. But God knowing everything yeah. or not knowing everything, which defines God, because the Bible says God knows everything. Yeah. That's a pretty core issue because if God doesn't know everything, then he's not God because the Bible says God knows everything. So if Jesus didn't know, which is what commentaries like MacArthur have also said, then that would mean he can't be God because God knows everything. That's a pretty important issue. Yeah, God so, so doesn't I, always reveal to us what he's gonna do or why he right? does but, but, but Jesus says only the Father knows. So Father does know, yeah. Jesus doesn't know, so they're not equal. Well, and that's made, a pretty important... In that scripture, who made that statement? Jesus. Not, only the son, the son doesn't know, only God Jesus. knows. Jesus made that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to me, that's a consistency, though. Consistency that Jesus doesn't know. Well, what, what are you right? saying? So, so, so then that no, would be no, consistently that he's not what God. I mean, what he's saying is it's not going to be revealed until God decides to get to you. Okay, once again, that's see, what I get out of that. but, but, but you're, you're reading into the scripture, right? Because the scripture says no, does not know. And the scripture says Jesus saw a tree and he was hungry. And he went to it and then he found there were no figs and he got upset, right? So if he was God, obviously he would know if there's fruit on a tree or not, right? I, if I you're gotta, saying he was human and he didn't have that knowledge because he became human, yeah. I can understand. But is that your point? Well, I got to admit to you again, my opinion, I could care less about that fig tree. I don't care about I don't, it. But, but you do care if Jesus is God or not, right? I believe he is. Okay, I, believe but, but God, you, wait, I believe God can do anything he wants, I got you. whenever he wants to do it. And he, he, you or anybody else can't tell him what he can or cannot Agreed. do. But can, can you have a square circle? No. Thank you. So if God says himself that he knows everything, yeah. and then Jesus says that I don't know, the son does not know, only father, mm -hmm. then that means it cannot be both. Either God knows everything or he doesn't know. It cannot be a square circle, right? Well, let's put it another way. Yeah. Using that knowledge. Gotcha. Another example. It's not that one. It's a different one. But no I'll problem. Use that. Go ahead. If God can do anything he wants. He's great. He created everything. We could never comprehend what he does because he created us and he created, could never comprehend as much as a creator or be the same as a creator. Keeping that in mind, 
who wants to come down in human form as Jesus Christ, he can do it. Because he's gotcha. God, and that's part of the okay. But if Either he comes, he can or he can't. I got you. There's nothing but if he him. comes down in human form, yeah. and he no longer knows everything, then he's no longer and God. Well, he said that. There he you said go. Only the Father knows, right? Exactly. So that means the Son but is no longer audience? God. Uh, it's our guidance, everybody who was there, yeah. and the message that would come to us. Yeah. So that would mean that, according to you, if God came down as the Son, and now He no longer knows everything, you said He can do it. I'm not arguing with you there. But that would mean He's no longer God, because the definition of God from the Bible is He knows everything. That wasn't so, what like, I was if you, to say. I know, but let me let me just finish okay, it. Go ahead. So, if you have a square, um, could I turn it into a circle? I could. Right? I could bend the corners and make it a circle, but then it's no longer a square. Can I turn it back into a square? I could, but then I'd make corners and it would no longer be a circle. So if you're saying God could come down to earth as a human and no longer know because he said, I don't believe he's a liar, right? And you don't think he's a liar. So if he says nobody knows and he clarifies, not the angels, nor the son, only the father, it doesn't say reveal, it says no. And there are many Christians who out there that do say that Jesus did not know, right? Well, yeah. I, what I was trying to say is when he came down to earth and he assumed human form, including all the characteristics, which means characteristics of a human, which means a human doesn't know everything either. Excellent. Then he he's was, no longer God. Well, his target audience. Th but that's, it, so but that's exactly. target audience is trying to teach? Is the people. I agree with you. I, so when you said when he came down to earth and he took the human characteristic of not knowing everything. And having the human emotions. Human emotion, pain, hunger, bathroom. Anger, I got you. Laughter, so joy. there, what we just agreed to yeah. is that when he came, according to you, this is your opinion that, I'm a, that when Jesus was on earth, uh -huh. he was a human, uh -huh. right? Yeah. And as a human, you said we have the characteristics of not knowing everything. Right? Well, he assumed that. He assumed he that. So that would mean, visually. that would mean at that time, he's no longer God. Because oh, no. when you don't, oh, he's not. So Jesus was not God on earth. Why couldn't he be God and, and show us the way as in human form? Why because, he? because either he knows everything or he doesn't know everything. It can't be both. He knows everything. He's got a plan. But you just said that no, he I didn't, didn't no, know. No, no, I didn't. The only thing I said was okay. he came down to earth in human form and assumed human characteristics. Of not knowing. Well, everything about a human. All Part of that is that he didn't know everything. I didn't right? say he didn't know what was going on. Okay. I didn't say he wasn't God either. Okay. I just said he came down in human form, so and he did that to show us visually. Did he know the hour, yes or no? Well, according to that, he said no. Okay. Only the Father did. I'm, I'm with you. So if he didn't know the hour, to me, that's then not he... A contradiction. Okay. If he didn't know the hour, then he doesn't know everything, right? In human form, when he assumes his characteristics, he did not know his everything. Target audience, he's, he's, it's looking that way. It is okay. looking that way. Okay. Not just the way he speaks and what he says, okay. but how he feels, how he looks, how I he got acts. You. So, what, so your opinion? I'm not trying to well, say. Everything coming out of my mouth is not. I agree. Opinion. Is that Jesus, when he came to Earth, he no longer knew everything? Well, from what he said there. From what he said, because so you don't say he's the, not a. He said only the Father <coughs> knows agreed. when it's going to happen. Okay. I don't have a problem so, with that. Good. So that would mean if he didn't know everything on earth, he was not God, because me and you also already agreed that God knows everything. No, I didn't say that. How, how does that make sense to you? You know how it makes sense to me? Yeah. It says his whole purpose was to show us the way, but he okay. did it in human form. That's gotcha. That makes sense so in that human form, did he know everything? Well, in that statement, he said he did. Well, okay, just so like, I'll go, I'll go back to when he was getting crucified. My gotcha. example, he's on the cross, he says, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Mm -hmm. Now, people are saying, what are you doing, praying to yourself? You can't, I, what does it make sense? He's praying That's to the how Father. It looks, but who's his target audience? The people who witnessed the crucifixion, gotcha. or us. So, so and, and he didn't die, the body died, but he got resurrected. And that was all part of the plan. I mean, he knew he knew when he was going to get betrayed. He knew okay. that Judas was going to do it. Mm -hmm. That is mentioned in all four Gospels. And you can look that up at your own leisure. You don't have to do it right now in front of me. No problem. I, I, I've read the Bible. I'll read it again. No problem. I mean, but you the, know, I, I have a theory for that. Okay. This is just me again coming out of my mouth. Sure. The disciples, well, the authors of the four Gospels, they, they had different occupations. Matthew, he was a tax collector. 
Mm. Tax collectors are kind of like bookkeepers, you know. But, but in scripture, don't know we don't know who the authors are, right? The scripture doesn't mention the authors. Well, Matthew right? was a he was a tax collector. But but there's there, that's not in scripture, right? And that's one of the, one of the gospel authors. Uh, I, I know Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke. But oh, I'm going back to Judas again. How Judas died? Sorry, I, I should. Oh, okay, yeah. How that's Judas not. died? Matthew's the only. But, oh, one can, can we finish the Jesus knowing before we jump back to Judas? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thank you. So so I just want to be clear on this then. Yeah. When you say Jesus came to earth yeah. and he took on the human characteristic of not knowing, yeah. then by your definition, he could not be God because me and you agreed God knows everything. So when Jesus came and he didn't know, he can't be God. No, but to you that seems that way. To me... How does that not seem that way? Because his target, his target audience was us humans. Right. And he assumed everything, including saying that he didn't know. But he wasn't lying, right? He was telling the he truth. He did know. Wait, you saying he did know? He just wasn't going to reveal it. That's a lie then. No. If you say you don't know and you do know, that's a lie. He's going to reveal it when he's ready to reveal it. That's how I take it. No, no, no. But, but, but well, if, you if, take it. The way let you, me ask you something. That's how I take it. Okay. What, what, Jay, right? Yeah, Jay. Jay, yeah. if I ask you which way is the fountain, and you see it right there, you know it, and you say, I don't know, but you do know, that's a lie, right? No, that's not, that doesn't that's not a lie? this example either. So if Jesus this, knew the hour said, and said he doesn't know, that would be a lie. He said only the Father. He says, nor the Son. That's all right. Makes it very clear, the Son does not know. Well, only the Father. The father only the Father. Is, well, the Father, Agreed. the Father is him. Come on, Jay. No, no. If he says, nor the Son, he makes it very clear he's excluding himself from the Father. Uh, you, you take it that way. I okay. take it the way I take it. I appreciate it. Because uh, it, I, it I don't want to get, get you frustrated. I don't want you to tell well, me to shut up. Gotta, so I'm going to let it go. you got to realize everybody doesn't think and see things exactly sure. the same I, way. I agree. It doesn't matter even if, you, if you're all members of a certain religion. It's right, but, still, each person is just a little bit different. But, than how they I, I agree. But, but when you see a verse, so Jesus is saying... Sense. To you, it does not make sense. I don't think it makes sense to you either because oh, no, what you're sense okay. Let me ask you this then, right? If Jesus says no one knows, and he clarifies, not the Son. The Son does not know. Only the Father. But he did know. Wouldn't that be a lie? I, well, I say it's going to it's going to get revealed to people when they're ready to re ready to reveal. again. But he, he doesn't say anything about revealing. He says about knowing. Well, it's just like I said about God. God does whatever He wants to do when He wants to do it. Does God lie? We don't understand everything about God or why he does what he does. So you think God could lie? I think God, in this case, when he wants to reveal certain things like that, he will reveal them. So meaning when Jesus says the Son doesn't know, but he actually did know, well, He also he said was, only the Father would reveal. Right, God, right. Father's God. He didn't say reveal, knows. Knows, God. Yeah. Right, God but, knows, but, but, God he, God. but he clarified nor the Son. He didn't say God. He said Father. So you can't bring the triune in here, right? He says the Father, one of the three, knows. Well, I mean, but God, according to you, is three, right? Well, that's all three God. You know what? I, I'll try to explain that to you. Okay. Uh, but, I, don't think, I don't know if you're going to like but about it. about the verse or about the Trinity? Triune, no, 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 I just want to understand the verse Let's first. Let's go back to this. Okay. I don't want to die the word. Okay, I appreciate it. You, you can tell me about the Trinity. About I got this, you. This verse. This is, this, to, you, this is, to you, it means one thing. Uh -huh. To me, it means something else. But, but let me right. just. Okay. Oh, I got you. But <laughs> when Jesus says, "No one knows, nor the Son." Yeah. Shake. Could I have one of the un unchallengeable miracles of the cross? Uh, th those aren't for everybody. Those are the big, expensive ones. You can ask. Well, that's why I said I'll pay for it. Oh, I, I, I'm not selling them. You gotta talk to Mukaro. No, no. They said they're free, but they said I could have them. Well, that's up to them, then, right? It's not mine. <laughs> So guy, we're in a conversation. You don't. Uh, I apologize. I'll, uh, no, I'll, I'll tell you. This. I'll buy one. I'll get it for you later. But anyway, right? you're as a gift. Whatever you pay for. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not worried about money. Back. I got you. You're focused too much on that. No, no. But I'm not. The what I'm focused on whether Jesus was God. Because between us Christians and Muslims, we do believe there's a God. So I'm not. I, I, know, I know Muslims do not believe Jesus was God. I right. I agree. That. So know. that is the core difference between us, right? Otherwise, we yeah, believe in Moses. Yeah. You believe in Moses. You're against the LGBTQ XYZ stuff, right? Yeah. We're against. Said, you believe in moral values. We believe we're, we have a lot in common. I'll tell you what my when you go into that stuff, mm -hmm. LGBT. You know they talk about a non-binary world. Yeah. I believe in the bin. I call it the binary world. Something's either this or it's that. Right. A person's either male or female. An gotcha. androgynous person's deformed. The person's either deformed or they're not deformed. I'm with the you. The electricity's either on or it's off. So, so, so I'm saying is... Well, even our number system, look at that. We got negative numbers, we got positive, positive numbers, numbers yeah. and we got zero. Even at the atomic level, you got protons, neutrons, Agreed. which are, speak for themselves the name, and electrons. I agree with Everything's, you. Everything fits that binary... 
I agree with you, 100%. It's either this or it's that. I appreciate it. When it comes to male, female, person's either male or female. Agree. So what I'm saying is us Christians and Jews have a lot in common. The, the, the point of dispute here is whether Jesus was divine, like a part of God, like God himself, or was he just a pious prophet, a great man born to a miraculous birth? We believe that, right? But if Jesus says that, if the Bible says God knows everything, we agree, right? Well, if you, you know, it's okay with me if you want to believe he's not divine. I okay. believe God, that's fine. You believe what you want to believe, I believe I got I believe. you. Good, no, lakum dinakum wal yadin. You have your mind. The verse to me is very explicit where Jesus, according to the Bible, your book, he says that nobody knows the hour, not even the angels. And, and then he, no, 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 but before that he goes, nor the sun. So that's the emphasis he gives that he excludes himself, that I don't know. And then he says, only the Father. Yeah. So now that to me, just reading the verse and McCarthy Bible, others have said that this means at that time, Jesus did not know, right? Uh, yeah, you know the McCarthy study Bible? No, I don't know. Okay, I have it here if you want to look at no, it. Yeah. I, it's okay. Okay. Anyway. Some Christians will say that it was hidden. Uh -huh. Right? Some will say he knew it, but he wasn't revealing it. Some will say he didn't know. Right? So it gets to be confusing because if God didn't know, he cannot by definition be God. Okay? Because God knows everything. So if Jesus didn't know if there's figs on the tree, if he didn't know the hour, then by definition, he could not be God. A prophet of God, sent by God, we agree. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I appreciate your conversation. I Thank you. I believe part of God. You don't, that's fine. I appreciate it's it. Not a Good conversation. Good conversation. Yeah. I appreciate the civil discussion. Yeah, you know, I, it gets tiring sometimes. I feel you. Uh, Have you read the Quran? Well, I had an English version once and I tried reading it, but I, I got to admit to you, it's pretty difficult for me to read. Really? Why let, me, let me give you one as a gift. You can try it out. All right. Huh? Sure. Thank you. I became the You're not going to change my mind. I'm not trying to change your mind. <laughs> look, look, let me explain something, Jay. Well, I have to explain something to you. My background, 40 years ago, I went into a mosque. I was just curious and I talked to a uh, imam. Imam. Had a nice, quiet conversation. I didn't agree with everything, but I didn't come there to disagree. I just came to listen Good. to what he had to say. Great. Jay, you're a great and guy. About 20 years ago, I went to the one, you know that one over off 805? Yeah, Baba, ICSD. Now, I didn't ask the guy's name. He didn't ask my name. It didn't matter. I just asked some questions and he answered them. That's fine. Great. So I got one of these. And well, Jay, I appreciate your open-mindedness. Look, no. I'm not here to change your mind. It's not upon us except yeah. to clearly convey a message, right? You're, you're a good man. You, you go home, read the Quran, read the Bible, read these verses and just think. Does God pray to himself? Does God not know? Does God have those characteristics? Because if he had those human characteristics of not knowing, then the godly characteristic of knowing everything cannot both be. Well, my main thing is not even that. <coughs> I've, I, like I mentioned, God has unconditional love for all. I of believe us. God loves us, and He wants to have a relationship with us. And I want to have a relationship with Him. Someday, Great. Our, someday our bodies hey, are going to die. You here's know? your relationship. Well, why not? Give it a shot. I'm not here to change your mind. I've already looked at this, and it's hard to read because it doesn't seem like it's organized in any chronological Look, sequence. It's not a history book, right? Go through it as a book of guidance. Hudalil Muttaqin, a book of open your heart. I'm not here to change you. Only Allah can guide you, right? But you are open-minded enough to come have this conversation. You're civil enough to have this conversation. You went to a mosque. You are a person who is not adverse to the truth. So if you read it and you find truth in it, become Muslim. If not, well, you do what you do. You've got to answer for yourself. I got to answer myself. I got to admit to you, you've been there, done that already. So I've, I don't me, think you've read the whole Quran, to me, right? Christianity and the Bible makes sense. Well, I appreciate. No offense. No, no, no offense taken. None taken. I'll, I'll look at this. Thank I'll you. Keep it in my library. I appreciate it. And read it though. Not just keep it in the library. All right. With an open heart. All right. All right. Thank you, Jake. So you do believe that God has unconditional love for us? I believe God loves us. And he wants to have a right? relationship. But I believe He wants a relationship. We are we are those that should be worshiping our Creator and none, none but our Creator. But when Christians say unconditional, sometimes I don't understand what they mean because well, it's like let I, me, I was trying to say like a, like you live with your children, familiar. you have unconditional love. Right, but if my son, for example, kills somebody, I wouldn't let that go. I would, I would discipline them, right? Well, yeah, then, well, that's yeah. part of what a parent does. There discipline. you go. So when God ordered the massacre of Amulek, uh, I don't think that was unconditional love. Like here he was destroying them in the Bible, right? So 
I think God loves those that are on the righteousness, on the right path. God loves those that are people of taqwa, people of uh, piety, right? But God does not love the dhalim when he's making dhulam, the oppressor when he's oppressing, right? God loves the person to guide them and he shows them signs, but he's not going to say, okay, Hitler, whatever you do, it doesn't matter, just believe in Jesus, go to heaven. I don't believe that, right? I believe the first thing is the belief, but then we should be held accountable for our deeds. If you say, I believe in God, but you're raping and killing and massacring, you should be held accountable for that, right? So this is my belief. There's really no regular pathway to God. If you're gonna wait, you're gonna have a balance of good deeds versus bad deeds. So everything, really, everything really is based on the mercy of God, right? Allah, the Prophet Muhammad SAW told us nobody will enter Jannah except for the mercy of God, right? But not even him, not even him, only the mercy of God. But that doesn't mean that you will not be held accountable for your deeds, right? Because what happens then oh, yeah, is you, we're held accountable. So then it's not unconditional if we're held accountable, right? Well, we're disciplined. There you go. Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah. Now, now we're coming closer to the understanding. Well, it's still so God, love, like a yeah. has those children, but God but can you punish get, us. You get disciplined. Ah, there you Just go. Like, I'll give you an example of my own life. When I was five years, when I was five years old, my dad took me to the store, and I saw a, a, a toy there. You know, a, a little toy gun set. Yeah, I like those. Man. And I said, Hey, I wanted that, Dad. He said, No. But I snuck it out anyway. Ooh, you stole it! Yeah, it's the, only time, the only time in my life I shot it. Gotcha. When we got home, he found it. Mm. He spanked me. That's the discipline. Mm. He took me back to the store. And he said, I want you to give this back to the shopkeeper and apologize. Beautiful. And I did, and then the shopkeeper smiled. I took it back, but I never, I never shot with it again. Beautiful example. But he gave me discipline. Let me, let me he spanked I, me. Ex, let me ask you a scenario now, okay? Yeah. Just from what you said. If you did the same thing, you stole that gun set, yeah. and you got home. So you took something you shouldn't have. Yeah. Like Adam taking from the tree, you shouldn't have taken it, right? Yeah. You took something, you went home, your dad saw it, he took you back to the store, right? Yeah. Now the owner of the store, the one who you stole from, tells you, I'm not gonna forgive you. You and every child from your prodigy is gonna be sinful, right? You are gonna go to jail, your children are gonna go to jail, their children are gonna jail. Only way I'll forgive you is if you kill my son. Uh, Would that shop, make any sense to you? Well, the shopkeeper had a, he was a Christian too, so he, but, he forgave but, him. But, but think about that, how beautiful is that? That's Islamic belief. You sin, you ask forgiveness, Allah forgives you. Doesn't have to kill his son. Except that you say Jesus was killed. Oh, so, so your belief is Islamic belief. I like it. what the hell? Oh, it's okay. What the H-E double hockey sticks? Don't worry about it. So now think about that, right? The Christian belief is Adam stole from the tree and to repent for it, Jesus had to die. So this is like you stealing from the store and to repent for that, you have to kill the store owner's son. Like that wouldn't make any sense. Rather the Islamic belief that Adam's repentance Allah forgave him. Isn't that beautiful? Well, Jesus died for our sins. But see, think about that, right? That we, we're sinful. We're born with sin because of Adam taking from the tree. Yeah. And then Jesus, the, the, according to you, the Son of God has to be killed for that. So that's like the store owner's son. Oh, he, that, like imagine, so imagine that store owner saying, you stole from me, I love you, kill my son. You would be like, dude, you're nuts. Well, God, he doesn't die. And he came down and, and he, he died for our sins. I know you're not going to believe that's fine. Uh, uh, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Jesus Christ, you don't have to, that's your I got you, I appreciate this conversation, but I I'm just saying though, the example you gave, just think yeah. that when you get home, not right now, I'm not putting you on the spot, it's not a debate, I'm not here to argue, right? Just think about that. When that's the stone owner, if you went back to him and said, hey, like Adam turned back to God, saying, I, I sinned, I made a mistake, and the store owner tells you, hey, no problem, but the only way I'll forgive your sin is this perfect son of mine, 4.0 student, straight A's, great grades, never did anything wrong, torture him and kill him, and, and because I love you, you have to kill my son. I don't see that as what Jesus Christ does. Uh, all right, I appreciate it, thank you. But I think the, con the example you gave is a beautiful example from the Islamic belief, that we turn back to God and God forgives us. Like that gentleman that you turned to and you, you, you repented, and he forgave you from mercy, beautiful. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate the conversation. Sure. Good reading. Come back, we'll talk more. All right. <laughs>
لا بد يوما آتية كل الخلائق حاضرة كل السرائر بادية